So the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you have this theming app installed. If you guys do not have this theming app, go ahead and either follow the guide down in the description or alternatively go to the Nintendo Homebrew Discord channel which is also linked down below in the description. Both of those places can assist you on installing Animane or however the app is pronounced. So the first thing you guys are going to see in the description for the links will be the Google Drive that contains all of the official Nintendo themes. You can go from European to Japanese to North American themes as you can see. So I'm going to go ahead and click on North American themes. And there is just an absolute boatload of themes here. There's probably approximately somewhere over 300 different themes just for North America alone. That's not including the European or the Japanese themes. So I'm going to go ahead and just click on the first one here. When you guys see it, you're going to see all these weird looking files. What you're going to want to do is go ahead and download these files and put them inside of one specific folder. So I'm going to go ahead and just open up FTPD on my Nintendo 3DS here. And then I'm going to use that to transfer all of the files onto my 3DS. I'll be making a separate video on that app if needed. But when you guys have the theme you want, it should look something similar to what I have here. Now what you're going to want to do is go ahead and zip all of that up. Now, depending on what your theme has, it might have different files, it might have sound files, it might not have sound files, it all depends on the theme. But anyways, what you're going to want to do is just go ahead and simply put it inside of a .zip archive. You can use WinWar for that, you could probably use 7-zip for that, I mean there's probably even websites you can use for it. The possibilities are endless. At the end of the day, you're going to want it inside of a .zip file. Once you have it in that .zip file, either open up your FTP or do a SD card, whatever you're doing, and you're going to want to put it in a themes folder. If you guys don't have a themes folder, go ahead and make one. That's, you're going to want to put that on the root of your SD card, and the themes folder is going to have a capital T. And then if you guys are using FTPD, you should get some nice little messages like that telling you everything was successful, and now we are good to go. Now, for the unofficial themes, which are themes created by people like you and me, which in my opinion are normally better in most cases, just not most of the ones we see on the screen now. Um, this site right here, you just want to simply organize it by most download or search, search for something you like, like a specific movie, video game, or whatever the case may be. And then for this app right here, you're going to want to use the theming app Animane or, whoever, or however it's pronounced and you're going to simply scan the QR code. So now that I'm on my 3DS, let's go ahead and open up that theming app. And then once the app loads, you're going to simply hit R and it's going to show the QR scanner and then just simply scan the QR code as if it was an app for FBI. Now another thing about this website guys, if you create an account and go to your account settings is how you enable NSFW themes if that's something you guys are interested in as well. But installing an app is super easy to do, or not an app, a theme, sorry, installing a theme is very easy to do. All you have to do is go to the theme. Uh, press and hold A and then up on the D-pad simultaneously and once you've pressed A first and then up on the D-pad release A while continuing to hold up on the D-pad and then it will install the theme. You can also install it without BGM which stands for background music and you can also do a shuffle install as well. Now after you guys install the theme you're going to have to restart your 3DS for it to take effect. So if you look in the bottom screen, in the top right hand corner, you'll see a T, a picture icon, and then a door with an arrow. You're going to want to click on that door with an arrow, and then it's going to ask you to power off your device. Click yes, turn it back on, and the new theme should be applied. But that's going to be about it for this video, guys. This is AJ170 signing out. See you guys next time.